the story of me agreeing to get an older woman pregnant and then her trying to ruin my life. When I was 23, I had a one-night stand with a girl from my hometown named Maria. We both knew it was nothing more than that, and we didn't speak after. Several months later, I received a text from her saying that she had been lucky in love and she wanted the baby before it was too late. So she asked if I would get her pregnant and I wouldn't have to bear any responsibility, like a sperm donor. Well, I considered it, and I first thought no, but after some you know, time to think about it, I thought it would be the right thing to do for someone struggling. So we filled out an ironclad agreement, and you know, basically I would, wouldn't be responsible at all. A while later, she told me she was ovulating, and then a few weeks after that, she told me she was pregnant and that it worked. I went back to California for work, and we didn't speak after that. Unbeknownst to me, she contacted my family behind my back and invited them to the baby shower. They then began getting dinner or whatever regularly, and as she got to know my parents, my parents started encouraging me to be in the baby's life, and once I found out it was a little girl, I thought it was the right thing to do. I flew home to be there for the birth, and I got a tattoo of our daughter's middle name before she was born. After our daughter was born, Maria wanted us to be together and be a family. And when I said I didn't want to do that, she wouldn't let me see my daughter. My main source of income at the time was the Airbnb that I owned. And she said this a few months after she was born. I felt bad, so I let her move in for several months, rent-free. Once she moved out, she told me this. I've never done anything to warrant supervised visits, but I agreed to keep the peace. I would come home as often as I could to see our daughter. And things were usually okay when I was there. These are all from her Facebook. One Halloween, I didn't want to wear matching costumes with Maria, so she wouldn't let me see my daughter for a while. And when our daughter was being baptized, I drove a 14-hour round trip from Nashville to attend. And because I didn't want to see Maria the night before, she didn't allow me to come to the baptism at all. Soon after this, she served me with child support, saying that our... Maria, Maria. ...our contract wasn't valid because... Our daughter didn't have a social security number yet, and I didn't fight her on it. Uh, I didn't have the time. I was living away. I ended up paying her $10,000 up front and seven fifty dollars a month. I was able to move home soon after that, and I began seeing our daughter regularly. Everything was going really well until I got a girlfriend. Even though she had a boyfriend who was regularly around our daughter, she said that my girlfriend couldn't be around our daughter. I was able to get our daughter for an afternoon and Maria asked what I was doing. I told her that I was with my girlfriend and we were at Lowe's together. She freaked out. I said I'd bring her daughter back to her as soon as we were done, but instead Maria drove to Lowe's and apparently called my dad and was running up and down the aisle screaming. I don't know what actually happened, but she was freaking out, just blowing up my phone, thinking she was in danger. And keep in mind, my girlfriend is a mom as well as a nurse. Our daughter was never in any danger. When I offered Maria and my girlfriend to get to know each other so they'd be comfortable you know, with my daughter being around, she immediately said no and you know, called my girlfriend a word that rhymes with chore and refused to get to know her. Maria then made a public post saying that I was a deadbeat dad and I hadn't seen her daughter in weeks. Here I am with our daughter just a few days prior to this post. I also left my best friend's bachelor party a day early so I could be home for Father's Day and she still wouldn't allow me to see her. She even said this to my grandmother. She had her friends comment mean things on my girlfriend's social media multiple times, even though my girlfriend has never been anything but nice to Maria. Because Maria tends to do this, I want to make sure that she doesn't twist the story and make it seem like I abandoned our daughter. I recently found out that our daughter isn't mine. I don't know who the dad is, but I've had two paternity tests done, and they both say this. I believed Maria when she told me that I was the only possible father. The situation was weird, but I was always happy to be a dad. I, I knew that Maria already knew she was pregnant, and she had to have, when she asked me to get her pregnant. I didn't think that was something that someone would lie about to another human being. Not only to me, but my entire family as well. Everybody is distraught about this.
and that's a major uh, characteristic of Esau, all right? When he can't have his way, all right, that nigga gonna weep and cry, all right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7. It reads, And the Lord, Yahweh, thy God, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. All right, and our number one enemy on this earth, the us being the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, slash Latinos, and Native Americans, our number one enemy is the so-called white man, all right, which he is not white, he is red. All right, and his biblical identity is Esau, all right? As a nation, they're the Edomites, and as a nation, we're the Israelites, all right? And the Lord is putting these curses on them, all right? As you can see, all right, evil is selling victim to uh, Maria motherfucking ass, all right? Welcome to Jake land, all right? You know what I'm saying? Keisha, Tasha, Maria, and Guadalupe have been pulling them fucking tricks on Jake forever, all right? But it's beautiful to see. All right, that these devils are now falling victim, all right, to their woman. All right, because she ain't our woman on this side. She they woman. Anyway, before I continue, I'd like to start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rug Kakwadash, and double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach and where I learn this 100% truth and continue to learn this 100% truth. Peace and salutation to the Lord Select. All right, today is October the 18th. Year 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right, just gonna jump into a quick little morning lesson. All right, on these, on these ease. All right, and uh, you know they're far from grace because you know Esau's that he he's going down, man. All right, the red night is going down. The red night is falling. His kingdom is falling, and his uh statue and place in this earth is falling. All right, and he's falling victim to the mind games of Eva. All right. In, in, in his case, Northern Kingdom Eva, all right, Maria, all right, you know, she didn't got, got over on his ass, you know what I'm saying, got him thinking, you know what I'm saying, he he has a daughter and shit, the whole time it's another nigga daughter, all right, she getting money out this nigga, big money out this nigga, all right, nigga paying $700 a month in child support for one fucking kid, all right, that's, that's madness right there, all right, but hey, that's what you get, Esau, all right. <clears throat> so uh I read the scripture you see on the screen. I'm gonna read another one right quick. This is uh it's gonna be in Lamentations 4 and 20. I got it in another let's see. I got it in another um Bible. It's the contemporary English version. English version. <clears throat> Alright, this is uh Lamentations 4. I'm gonna start at verse 21. It said, You people of Edom can celebrate now. But your time will come to suffer and stagger around naked. The people of Zion have paid for their sins, and the Lord will soon let them return home. But, people of Edom, you will be punished and your sins exposed. All right, and that's what's coming your way, Esau. All right, it starts on this side. You know, you've already been exposed. All right, you know, the scripture tell you uh, in Jeremiah 49 and 10, Behold, I made Esau bear. I think that's how it goes. I made Esau bear. He should not be able to cover himself. All right. And how's Esau been made bear? Through the prophets. All right. The the, the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And these curses are going on him. Let me see. Uh, let me see what they say. Jeremiah 49 and 10. They say, but I will take everything that belongs to you, people of Edom. And I will uncover every place where you try to hide. Then you will die, and so will your children, relatives, and neighbors. Oh, my goodness. All right. Because that's what the Lord is coming to do. He's coming to destroy these Edomites. All right. But before he destroys them that way, he's going he gonna, to um, expose them. All right. Let the world see who they are and what they're about. All right. And they're going to go under these curses. All right. The same curses that we went under, they're going under. And one of those curses is, um, you know, your, the, the woman, her eye being evil towards you. All right, um, she laying down with other men, all right. All that comes with um these curses, all right. And it's another one that Esau did. Uh, let me see this. Let me get that first Ezra. One second, y'all. All right, this first Ezra is 4 and 26. It says, yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes, all right. And that's what happened to that nigga in the uh, clip we just saw, all right. 
he didn't fail victim to this bitch side story. All right, about uh, you know, she ain't she wants to have a kid and this and this and this. All right, she didn't ran game on the nigga and he fell for it on the Edomite and he fell for it. All right. Verse 27, many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. All right, you know, that's what dude was doing, all right? And now, you know, she uh she went to that nigga family. All right, she drew them all in. All right, and was getting money out of them the whole time. And, you know, she and she knew she was pregnant by another man, all right? She just ran that game on him, all right? And that's, you know, part of the curses, all right? Having an unruly woman, all right? Let me see, it's another scripture, all right, uh, all right, I think it might be, hold on, I think it's in Sirach, hold on, yeah. All right, this is Ecclesiastes, my bad, y'all, chapter 7, I'm <clears throat> starting at verse 25, it say, let me see, I applied mine heart, heart meaning mind, to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly even of foolishness and madness and i find more bitter than death the woman whose heart meaning her mind is snares and nets and her hands is bands whoso pleaseth yahweh with shot power shall escape from her but the sinner shall be taken by her all right and this is what happened to esau all right he got caught up in them mind games that maria was playing with him all right let me see, uh, verse 27, Behold, this have I found, said the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. All right, so this is King Solomon. This was, you know, thousands of years ago. All right, and he was, he had the scoop on these women and how they moving and shit. All right, and now, in the, in the world we in today, you know, the elect have been given this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of to know how to deal with these women but to the rest of the world they don't and you know it's a curse to not know <clears throat> how to uh deal with your enemies all right because if you don't know how to deal with your enemies and if you don't know who your enemy is you're gonna always fall victim to them all right and that's what esau is going through now he created this this uh this woman all right again she's his woman on this side all right and she's using and abusing his ass all right he falling victim to her the same way jake it's fell victim to it, all right? But again, the elect of Jake has been uh, awakened to these types of women, all right? Not to say when Jake was in the world, Jake ain't uh, get put in them situations, all right? Because again, it's a curse, all right? To have the weaker vessel out here doing what it is they're doing, because ultimately the bitch is committing adultery, all right? She jumping from rod to rod. She 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 playing the whore, all right? And the daughters of Israel, let me let me read that scripture. All right, because even though she doing that shit to Esau, she don't get no pass. All right, you know the Lord is gonna kill you, adulterous ass women. All right, this is Deuteronomy. What is it? Twenty three. What is it? There shall be no whores of the daughters of Zion. Is it seventeen? Yeah, Deuteronomy twenty three and seventeen. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Zion, nor Sodomite of the sons of Israel. So the Israelite woman, you can't go out and whore yourself out like that. All right. But in this world, you know, you've been given liberty to get abroad. All right, Esau likes it that way. And, and, and the shit is biting him in the ass now. All right, well, the, the lower people of his nation is biting him in the ass, all right? Because the majority of Edomites, they ain't even in the women. All right, and the elite of E, you know, they run the world. So I'm pretty sure they, uh, they women ain't doing all this to them. But anyway. It's the curses that's coming upon these devils, all right, and the and the ultimate curse that's gonna come upon upon them is slavery, all right. Lamentations, mourners, and woe, destruction, all right. Let me see, uh, it's another one. Hebrews twelve sixteen. Then to pull up, all right. Because again, these Edomites, <clears throat> they love to uh pull on your heartstrings with their demonic tears, all right. Because that's all it is, you know, tears of the devil, all right. This is Hebrews 12 and 16. See that no one is sexually immoral or as godless like Esau for a single meal sold his inheritance as the oldest son. This is in the, this is in the NIV version. 
Let me see. Uh, afterward, as you know, when he wanted to inherit this blessing, he was rejected. Even though he sought the blessing with tears, he could not change what he had done. All right. And, you know, Esau was living out the end of his blessing because, you know, he was given the fatness of the earth to rule and reign for a season and a period. All right. But that time is up. All right. You see how it's going down out here right now. Esau ain't even the most. De he's what well, he ain't never been the most desirable man, but he had a period in time where, you know, as the Edomites like to say, he was the big man on campus. All right. He was the face that runs the place that everybody was trying to be like. But them days is long gone now. All right, you know, he he out here getting used and abused by Keisha and, and Maria motherfucking ass, all right? Here it is, this this dude got money. Way more money than the average brother. All right, nigga, why in the fuck are you even dealing with American women anyway? All right, just showing you these devils have been brought low. All right, why why in the hell would you let a, a fucking one of your slaves convince you to get them pregnant and have a kid with them? All right, you know, you, you, these devils are just, man... The curses are on them, all right? They they, they they hunting them down. They walking them down, all right? Them curses is walking Esau ass down right now. All right, and it's funny as shit to see. All right, the more, you know what I'm saying, the, the hopeful elect draw closer to you, how about Shemia was shy? You know, the more, you know, these two-thirds of our people and, and these heathens, they draw further and further away. All right, and the Lord is getting ready to destroy them. All right, right here in this wicked land, all right, where these wicked practices are accepted. All right. Anyway, this was just a, uh, you know, quick hit to the point. You know, I had them clips and shit. You know, in the beginning, you also seen these Edomites. They supposed to be, uh, they like a, some kind of militia or some shit. These damn devils can't even march the right way, all right? The mighty men of Babylon have been brought low, all right? You know, these niggas ain't ready to fight. These heathens ain't ready to go to war, all right? They ain't like the old Edomites of yesterday, all right? And it's beautiful to see, all right? So anyway, you know, this was just a quick, you know, lesson to the point, you know, I just got out of work, and um, before I got the day started, I wanted to put up a video, Lord willing, it was edifying. All right, you know, just spotlighting the curses that's on Esau now, all right? Getting used and abused by Keisha and Maria, all right? All on the glory and praise go to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach in the course where I learned this truth. Peace and salutations to the elect. Kwam Yasharala and Wild Bible Ball. Shalom.